Today we're going to show you how to install an ENG Classics fine mesh grille on a 2012 Kia Soul. This grille is a great looking mod that will make your car stand out from the crowd and give it a unique touch of elegance and style. Installation will likely take you between 45 and 90 minutes and consists of 15 steps. You will need the following tools and supplies. First thing we need to remove is the radiator support panel. It is secured by seven plastic threaded fasteners and two 10 millimeter hex head bolts. Use your screwdriver to loosen the plastic fasteners, which will simply pull out once you've backed out the plastic screw far enough. If the screw just keeps spinning and doesn't back out, grab your razor blade and gently, without damaging anything, slide the blade under the fastener and pry down on the razor blade's handle. This will lift the fastener slightly and enable the thread on the screw to engage, backing out the screw. Once you've removed all seven plastic fasteners, remove the two hex head bolts with your ratchet and socket. Remove the radiator support panel and set it aside. Now we're gonna remove the upper grill assembly, which contains seven screws. The two at the top are fairly easy to access, but the five on the bottom are a little more tricky. If you're having a hard time locating the bottom screws, use the telescoping mirror to help you find them. This is where your flexible or offset screwdriver will be needed, since there is not very much clearance behind the grill. After trying several different ways, we ended up using the offset screwdriver for the upper screws and the flexible screwdriver for the lower screws. After you've removed all seven screws, wiggle and pull the upper grill assembly forward to remove it from the car. Lay the beach towel on a flat, stable work surface. We simply used the concrete driveway, but a workbench would work great as well. Place the upper grill assembly on the towel and apply masking tape over the entire chrome bezel in order to protect it from getting damaged. Turn the grill over and remove the four screws that hold the upper grill assembly together. You don't need to worry about these screws since you won't be using them again when we reassemble the grill. Once you've removed all four screws, Press down and then out on the chrome tabs that hold the bezel onto the grill. Then gently separate the grill and bezel from one another. Get your black enamel paint pen and carefully black out the upper mounting tabs located on the factory chrome bezel and allow the paint to dry. Align the upper mesh section into the factory upper grill. The mesh is custom cut, so it will be a perfect fit. Realign the chrome bezel over the mesh. Holding onto the bezel so it doesn't come apart, turn over the whole assembly. Use four of the supplied one half inch countersunk screws to secure the bezel to the grill assembly where the factory screws were removed. Hand tighten until the mesh and chrome bezel sit snugly against the factory grill. Do not over tighten or you will strip out the screw holes. Push down on the grill in order for the upper center mounting tabs to protrude out of the back of the grill as far as possible. While you're doing this, drill a 1 inch hole through the tab and install the supplied 1 half inch countersunk screw to secure it. Do this to the two upper center tabs only. With our install, we found it was actually pretty difficult to get the supplied 1 half inch screws to bite into the upper grill because they just weren't quite long enough. Luckily, we had some 5 8 inch countersunk screws on hand in our garage and once we tried using those, it was a piece of cake to put together. So if you want to spare yourself some potential headache, you may want to pick up some number four stainless steel countersunk screws that are 5 8 of an inch long, and it will make your assembly go much faster and easier. Carefully slide the upper grill assembly back into place, making sure it's fully seated, and reattach the seven screws that hold it in place. Once again, you'll need your offset and flexible screwdrivers to accomplish this, since the screws are tricky to access. Tighten the screws hand tight. Put the radiator support panel back into place and secure it with the seven plastic fasteners and two hex bolts that you previously removed. Tighten everything hand tight. Remove the masking tape from the chrome bezel and you're all done with the upper grill. Now on to the lower grill. Apply masking tape around the lower factory grill openings in order to protect the plastic bumper from any scratches. 
Place the lower mesh grill surround on the towel with the mirror side that has a protective film covering it facing down. Make sure that the exposed metal surface is completely clean and dry. Take the supplied double-sided tape, measure it, and cut it to length to the bottom edge of the grill surround. Stick any remaining tape to the top edges of the surround. Peel off the plastic backing to expose the top side of the tape. Carefully align the mesh sections into place, making sure you do not cover any of the mounting holes with the mesh wire. Once they are correctly aligned, press the mesh firmly onto the double-sided tape to ensure solid adhesion. Peel off the protective film covering the front of the lower grill assembly surround and carefully lower the assembly into place on the car. Once it's in the right position, use several strips of automotive masking tape to hold the grill in place. Using the supplied pinhead Torx bit on your electric drill, install the eight Torx head screws to secure the grill onto the front of your car. Install all of the screws, but don't fully tighten them yet. The screws will easily self-tap into the soft plastic factory grill. Once you have all the screws installed, but not fully tightened, you can remove the protective masking tape from the bumper. Now you can tighten all the screws hand tight using the pinhead Torx bit and your multi-bit screwdriver. Just make sure you don't over tighten the screws or you will strip out the holes in the factory grill. Take your microfiber cloth and give all the mesh grills, the upper chrome bezel, and the lower mirrored surround a quick rub down to remove any dirt or fingerprints. And that's all there is to it. Don't forget to take before and after pictures of your new grill so that you can show off your handiwork. For more information about this grill, visit egclassics.com. Thanks for watching.